day from President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration, and Texas Republicans are already planning to reintroduce controversial legislation he has already said he will sign. This time they say it has a good chance of passing the House and Senate. KXAN's Anna Wernicke looks at the impact it could have not only on Texas, but the entire country. I very much hope we will not wait one day longer. The First Amendment Defense Act didn't make it past the first together. hearing in 2015. But now the bill's sponsors, Texas Senator Ted Cruz and his Republican colleague, Senator Mike Lee, are eyeing a comeback. Legislation is titled the First Amendment Defense Act, but in reality, uh, it is an unconstitutional attempt to totally redefine what the First Amendment protects. The bill protects any person or business who refuses service to LGBTQ people. The intent of religion is, is to protect and help people not to use uh, religion as a sword to harm other people. I'm that specifically is what this legislation would attempt to do. Chuck Smith with Equality Texas says while a Texan may be behind the bill, he says it doesn't reflect the state's beliefs. I think Texans would not are not supportive of, of going back in time to a period when we denied service to people uh, because of who they are. Raise your hand, Christian conservatives, everybody. The bill already has the support of President-elect Donald Trump. In a statement on his campaign website, Trump says, quote, if I am elected president and Congress passes the First Amendment Defense Act, I will sign it to protect the deeply held religious beliefs of Catholics and the beliefs of Americans of all faiths. Anna Warnicke, KXAN News. Texas Senator John Cornyn was also a co-sponsor of last year's First Amendment Defense Act. On a state level, bills similar to FADA have failed in recent years. Vice President-elect Mike Pence signed Indiana's Religious Freedom Bill in 2015, creating a firestorm of protests and criticism from business leaders threatening to boycott that state. Both Indiana and Arkansas ended up adding anti-discrimination safeguards. Texas is one of 29 states with no protections for gays and lesbians in non-discrimination laws.